Well, I've been hiking for 10 minutes and bingo! It's day three of the uh, shed trip. Uh, me, Eric, and our friend Willie are out here um, in a spot that Eric and I went last year and we just straight up killed it. So I'm so excited to be here. I'm a couple ridges over, but I'm gonna start booking it to water because last year I did so well by water. But look at this, old six point. It's borderline chalk and hard white. Not bad, I'm super happy. I'm gonna throw it on the pack. Hopefully find some more. I was the first one to uh, find one today, so I'm feeling super confident. Um, I just knew, I, I just had a feeling. I'm like, I'm gonna find one any second. I saw this thing up the hill. I had to wait to make sure it was definitely one, but it sure was. I saw the tines and everything, and I'm so happy that I found one. So I'm gonna put it on the pack and keep finding some more. All right, I'm picking it up. So cool. Oh, that's gonna be a heavy sucker on the pack because it's been here a hot minute. Ooh, it's getting hot. I've hiked up and over about four canyons, but there's this really, really big one in front of me. I'm trying to figure out what to do. There's a creek on the other side of it that I think could be good. Um, whew, but I've been hiking my butt off. It's getting hot. I'm about ready to put a tank top on. Still only got this one, but that's okay. I'm gonna eat a snack. Hooked on boiled eggs for a long time now. Mm. They're so good. High in protein. So fast and easy on the trail. I have two of them. I'm gonna have a sandwich too. I'm also gonna put some peach and duro in my water. Cause this stuff tastes so good and I don't drink enough water when I hike ever so the fact that this tastes better than water and is still hydrate hydrating is huge. All right, I put the tank top on because I'm gonna conquer that beast. I decided it's even bigger than it looks. It's not the biggest mountain I climbed, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt because I haven't been finding sheds here, so I'm just gonna keep moving until I can find the sheds and work my butt off. And I'm gonna eat a peanut butter and jelly. It's like ba being back in second grade eating one of these things. I bought them for the first time in like 10 years. I'm so excited to eat it. Well, I climbed all the way up that mountain and it was a beast and I got up there and even the whole way up there, no joke, there was no sign at all. And Eric and Willie have been on the radio all day just kind of saying the same thing, no sign. So I noticed my battery was getting low. I'm using Onyx Maps to track where I'm going because I'm really good at getting lost in places I've never been like this. And uh, it said I was like four and a quarter miles from the truck and low battery, so I decided I better start heading back in the general direction of the truck. So I went back down that beast, back up the other beast. Now I'm on the lowlands, and I just found something that's kind of cool. It's not a shed, but somebody got in a big old fight. I mean, that's pretty far down to break. And if you look at this area, it's like a rodeo ground, so I can just picture Something down, something big went down right here during the rut. And I mean, he is busted up. He was a fighter. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take it with me. It's brown. Happened recently. Back to the truck. This is what I got. Man, that was a long trek. Holy cow. I'm gonna reward myself with another sandwich. Cheez-Its and pretzel, peanut butter pretzels. And I have some more Enduro left that I need to finish up. Whew. That seriously was one hell of a hike. I can't believe we didn't turn up more. Eric said he had a raghorn, a five point, and like a piece of a horn. I have a six point and a big piece of a horn. I don't know if Willie found anything yet, but um, I said earlier that this was a spot, one of me and Eric's favorite spots that we've been to before. Um, it is in the general area, but we tried like a new spot of that spot today. So obviously it didn't as 
produce as well as the spot last year, but I'm gonna try and convince everybody, which I think they're all down, to go to that spot tomorrow. So that would be great. Right now though, uh, I'm gonna lay down, use this backpack as a pillow, enjoy the breeze and the sunshine, get my tan on, and call it a day. Well, Eric made it back to the truck and look what we just set up. Camp. We're cooking potatoes and onions. And mm. then we have burger meat somewhere. What'd you say? Eric? Right there, that's the burger. Did you say we? I said yeah. Are we cooking them? <laughs> or am I cooking them? Oh, this I didn't just get, I didn't just do all that. <laughs> Bridget did this and it froze her hands, poor girl. It's all right though. She says, I gotta make the patties. It's a man's job. There's <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. We got our bed. We got a campfire. We're all set. These are Eric's little horns that he found. <laughs> he got that little one down there. And... Oh, those two little ones down at the bottom. It's a five point and like a little four, three or four point. We need a lot more sheds. We're gonna work on that tomorrow. Hopefully find a lot more. Well, we're having a hard time with the fire because the wood's so wet and we're gonna go to, go to bed super early so that we can wake up early. And I decided to make some slumber because it's gonna help me sleep and it's also warm and it's freezing in here. We're gonna run the propane heater all night, but I wanna stay warm. You got the blankets? Someone's gotta get them, babe. <laughs> what blankets did you bring? I brought those all. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Hey guys, I just want to interrupt my shed hunting video real quick to show you the March Hunter's Haul. Remember that you can use Bridget 10 for 10% off. I get the advanced box, it's $110 a month. So Bridget 10, the discount code in all caps, and then Bridget and then the number 10, saves you over $10 if you want to get your own advanced box. So let me just show you what's inside it real quick, then we'll get back to that video. I have a lot of cool announcements coming up, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that too. All right. So, every month there is a theme. This one is camo. What's coming next? April 2018 theme is spring hunt. Ooh, from turkey hunting to camping to prepping for the upcoming big game seasons. We are going to load you up to ensure you are ready to tackle every opportunity you come across this spring. I like that. Sounds good. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to spring too because this warmer weather has been so nice. I'm in the tank top today. That's awesome. Alright, so for the camo, we have... Let me show you first. This thing is sweet. I've talked to some of the other um, people that get the Hunter's Hall Advance box and people are so excited about this. It's such a cool idea. So it's a flashlight, but it also charges your phone. And it also is a flashlight and it has a little solar panel on it. So what's cool about that, there's obviously a lot of phone charging devices that are out these days, but most of them are solely just a charger. This is cool because it's a charger and it's a flashlight, so that's pretty awesome. I'm excited to use that. My phone dies a lot, and if I'm out there and my phone dies, I can't use my Onyx maps to get back somewhere, and I'm pretty good at getting lost. So that's super cool. I'm really excited about that. That has a $40 value. Okay, next. These are always useful. Let me get this out of the bag real quick. It's a Scentlock Full Season Gator. I actually was wearing one of the um, gators or buffs, whatever you want to call them, when that I got in a Hunter's Hall box. This brown one that I have over there actually when I shot my deer. And what's kind of funny about it was it would be so cold at night when I'd sleep in the blind that I just put the gator over my entire face like this and sleep like that. Normally I would do that and be like, this is a, com a comfortable way to breathe, but that's how cold it is that I would just do that every single night to keep myself warm. Okay, because I was in the middle of the desert, it was cold. 
So this one's super cool. It's a scent lock one. I gotta use that. Definitely using that to hunt the rut in New Jersey with my bow. I hunt whitetail every year. It's a super warm one. I like that. Okay, next up we have Camo Form Invis uh, Reusable Heavy Duty Fabric Wrap. This stuff's cool. I've bought this stuff in the past just to wrap things, make them camo, make them cool. It also is kind of grippy, which I like. It works as a good grip. Here, there's always a snack or something like that. This is a snack that I always buy on my own, and that is a Mountain Ops Belay Shot. Those are really good little things to have in your pack when you're like, when you've given it your all shed hunting or hunting and you're out of energy and you still gotta hike five miles back. That's when those blaze shots come in handy. And last but not least, this is the big advance box special. It's a Badlands jacket. It's pretty sweet. It's like, I wish you guys could feel the material because it's a really nice material. Look at that. It's like water resistant it feels like. Let me read about it a little, real quick. Rev jacket outer layer. This has $130 value. That's nuts. Let me put it on for you guys. Dang. That thing's pretty sweet. It's pretty warm. My room's kind of messy right now because I've been doing Fable Lifestyle orders. All the hats and t-shirts just came in. I'm wearing a hat right now. You can get those at FableLifestyle.com. Check that out. <laughs> I actually really like the length on it. Like, uh, Brandon from Hunter's Hall talked to me before this box said something was coming in the size. Asked what size I want. I'm always a small, but for this particular jacket, they had a medium. And I was cool with getting this jacket in a medium because it's a sweet jacket. And actually, I really like, like, longer things when I'm out doing something because, um, like, if you're sitting down or anything like that, you're wearing a backpack, it's nice to have it hang down a little bit longer. But yeah, this is sweet. I'm digging this. Like I said, ignore my room. I've been doing the orders. All the hats. And there's trying to fish shirts in there. So yeah, that was a sweet hunter shawl box as usual. I've gotten some of my favorite hunting, camping, hiking things from hunter shawl. Um, this jacket's going to be a nice addition. But I'm going to get back to the shed hunting video. And there's going to be more coming. Let's see. Today is Thursday. The next shed hunting video is going to be released on Sunday. So stay tuned. I just want to add a little side note. Um, I'll put the link to Hunter's Hall right below here on the video. And remember you can use Bridget 10 to save 10% off. As far as my own business for Fable Lifestyle, I have a code going right now. It's MARCH, M-A-R-C-H, in all caps, saves you 15% on anything on my website. It goes until March 31st at midnight until the last day of March. So if you want anything, now's the time to buy because that gives you a little discount. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get back to that part of the video. Well, guys, I want to say that that is the end to that video, which was day three. I'm out here right now on day four. This will be the next video, so stay tuned for that one. Um, haven't found any sheds yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be good. Hiking hard already. Drinking my coffee because it's early. But yeah, we're going to find some sheds. Thanks for watching uh, day three of the Shed Tour series. Uh, stay tuned for more.